Okay, so this is how I pulled Zoom data in to uh, create attendance from, from that and participation from the Zoom data. Um, but the thing is, you have to go over here, and the, um, what I did was do a search on this, and I can look, you know, I've done uh, basically up until February 23rd, uh, I did the prior month a moment ago, but then I go down and it lists out the participants, and, and these are the ones, this was a, an accounting research workshop, but this this is a this is a meeting of a class. Um, I think that this is another one of, uh, of the class, and this is the date that's given. And if you click on this, um, you get the, uh, the members. And I don't know, let's see. I don't know about the unique users. I mean, let's, let's try that. Okay, yeah, that's probably even better, just like that. The unique users, and then I export it. And let's call this test.csv. Uh, and that downloads that test, and it goes to my temp folder. And that was for, let's say, two, uh, 223. And I just I put in here... Um, 223. You know, if I if I don't uh, show the unique users, then I think I get this here. Let's just see what that one looks like. Um, test two. Test two will look like this. And this shows the join time and the leave time, which might be of interest. But in any, any case, um, I put in here the date, and let's say it's February uh, 222. So I go Feb 22. And uh, the key here is you don't want to export with the meeting data because that creates three more lines up here that you have to re eventually remove. But then once it's been saved as test two, then I can go upload over in SAS Studio over here. And you upload by doing this, and I'll choose that file. I'll call it um, test two. And when you go here and you now have test two, then you import it. And that's going to get, make this import number seven. Um, yeah. And I, I guess I lost track of where I was. But if we go down into libraries down here, it's in the work folder. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this one was from a prior one. But here you can see that my data includes January 19th, January 21st, that's a Tuesday and a Thursday, January 26th, January 28th, February 11th, February 16th. I wonder if I missed something in there. Um, but in order to import it, then you don't forget you have to import that by clicking the run guy here. And that's going to create this import seven. Now, import seven I created, and, and that one I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of this thing here, delete that. Delete that baby. But if we go down there, why does it keep taking me out of here? February 16th, February 11th, 16th, 11th, 28th of January. We had 26th. The first two were pretty clear. 
January 19, 21, 26, 28, February 11th and 16th. So now I think what I want to do is go up here to folders and teaching. 1921, 26, 28, 11th and 16th. And I'm just going to keep going down here, I guess, just to be in order. Import this data here. And I'm going to pause this, come back to you in just a little bit. Um, pause. All right, so the next thing I did was to go and check in the libraries down here in the work folder and check to make sure I brought in every date as a separate import file. And when I checked that, and let's say, here's one right here, you can see that I have January 28th and that's, that's one date and I, I did a, a listing. I checked to make sure that each file is up there, and these are the import numbers uh, there. And um, so then I went and I went to the um, to the code here. This one here into the code and I imported all of these and then I merged them all by the student name and the result is in a file called dat.merged and so I need to go into the files and folders oh no no that, I'm sorry that's in the libraries dat.merged and I'm going to go to dat.merged. So I have to go up to dat. Where's my data library? Right here. And it should be down here in something called merged. Right in there. I'm going to. Um, export this and I'm going to call that and I'm going to put it here in, in teaching. And this is merged um, to 2321 and it's going to be in an Excel file merged to, 20, to 2321. I don't know about that warning that we're, we're getting there but now I'm going to go up here to this is going to be in the teaching folder. Should be this one merged to 2321. I'm going to download that. In the, I'll save it there. And that's here. And like somehow they got out of order, but 1921, 26, 28, 11. So these two here. I'm going to move and put them in here. Uh, maybe this is because I'm not in an Excel. So I'm going to save this in my teaching folder. Teaching Intermediate 2. Uh, that's going to be spring of 21. And we'll put it in here as um, this is Zoom attendance. And until one, I'm sorry, two, twenty three, twenty one. And I'm going to save this as an Excel file now. And and it gets a, a little uh, messy in here because there's some people, I don't know why, that are in, in here multiple times. Um, I suspect that's from the test day. So the test day was here on the 16th. 
And so I probably want to get rid of, of those test day lines, the extra ones. Um, in fact, I could probably just get rid of Yeah. Um. Yeah. I have to clean it up a little bit here, but that's pretty much what we need to do. Um, and this is the attendance in terms of number of minutes um, for for each student. Not sure how to best do that, so I only get just one. But anyway, that's that's what that's all about. I'm going to stop this.